Prosecutors have released new evidence against Casey Anthony, including information about how the Florida mom reacted the moment she was told the remains of a little girl had been found not far from her home. It was the day police discovered the remains of three-year-old Kaylee Anthony. Prison guards led her mother, Casey, into a room where the TV set was deliberately left on to live TV coverage of the breaking news. There is every indication that this is indeed the body of the missing Florida toddler. It was part of a plot by investigators to test her reaction and obtain potentially incriminating evidence. She collapsed into the chair and started to what appeared to be hyperventilating. Audio tapes of what the guards saw have just been released. She kept her head buried in her lap. She never appeared to be crying, but continued to breathe very rapidly. Now listen to what happens. After taking a sedative, the accused mom changes the subject to, of all things, college football. She started talking about the national championship. She was weird to talk to. Non-emotional would probably be the best way to say. Casey has pled not guilty to murdering her daughter. It seems to me that Casey Anthony has been convicted before the trial has even begun. And that's an impossible burden for the defense to overcome. Prosecutors also released photographs which show Casey partying on while her daughter was missing. And this was also just released. Video from four cameras hidden in the car of Casey's ex-boyfriend. He agreed to see whether Casey's brother Lee knew more than he claimed. On the tape, Lee Anthony says his sister is a liar. Because sometimes it seems like she lies just to lie. And look at Casey's reaction on the day of her indictment for murder. She laughs with detectives as she's being handcuffed. <laughs> and during an interrogation, she insists her mother's intuition is telling her that her daughter is still alive. You know certain things about your child, you can feel that connection. And I still have that feeling, that presence. I know that she's alive. It turns out the audio of the prison guard talking about Casey Anthony was mistakenly released by the prosecution. The judge had yet to rule on a defense motion to block that tape's release.